You are now tuned into Digital Dive with Homes for Heroes. Launching paid media. Activating Facebook advertising. Engaging lead form automation. Hey everyone, I'm Seth Jessica, the Emerging Media Manager at Homes for Heroes. Welcome to another episode of Digital Dive with Homes for Heroes, where we provide you digital marketing tutorials to help you grow your real estate or mortgage lending business. And on today's episode, I am going to do another Facebook advertising tutorial. Now, I know I've been spending a lot of time on Facebook advertising tutorials right here on Digital Dive with Homes for Heroes. And I've been spending so much time because I believe that if we're investing in paid media to help us grow our real estate or mortgage lending business, it's likely that we're using Facebook advertising. But I know that there's also a lot of other things that you would like to learn. So if you have tutorials that you would like me to cover, if there are things that you would love to learn, I would love to hear from you. So if you have suggestions or recommendations for topics that you would like me to cover right here on Digital Dive with Home Serials, please leave those recommendations and suggestions in the comments below this video. I'd love to hear from you and I'd love to be able to create videos around the topics that you would like to learn about. But back to today's episode of Digital Dive with Homes for Heroes. So yes, I'm gonna do another tutorial on Facebook advertising and actually today's episode is something I am really excited about because it is probably one of the tips that I use the most with my Facebook advertising. And if you're using lead generation campaigns for your Facebook advertising, I think it is really one of the best tips that you can incorporate to save yourself a lot of time and provide a really great experience for the people who are signing up through your lead forms, through your lead generation campaigns on Facebook. So if you're familiar with lead generation campaigns on Facebook, you know how tedious and manual the process is to go extract lead information out of your lead forms within Facebook Ads Manager. You create your Facebook lead generation campaign, you put it out there, and you start generating leads. But you never know when you actually receive a lead. You never get notified, right? You have to go within Facebook Ads Manager, check to see if you received a lead, and if you did, you have to go extract an Excel spreadsheet, then you have to extract the lead information, and then you follow up with the lead. Not only is this uh, an extremely tedious and manual process, it doesn't provide the best experience for the lead, right? They're completing that lead form and then you're following up with them several hours, maybe even a day later, just depending on how frequently you can go back and check Facebook Ads Manager to see if you received a lead. You wanna be able to follow up with this lead as soon as they fill out that lead form, right? You wanna follow up with them while your business and what you're offering is right on top of mind. Now, right now, there's currently no way to automate the process of getting a notification with lead information by using Facebook Ads Manager. But what I'm gonna show you on today's episode is how you can use my favorite automation tool, Zapier, to create an automated workflow of sending an email notification to you every time you receive a new lead within Facebook Ads Manager. And then within that email notification, you will also receive the information of the lead. Now, if you've tuned into recent episodes of Two Minute Tip Tuesday, Digital Dive with Homes Heroes, or Real Talk with Homes Heroes, you've likely heard me talk about Zapier and how much I love Zapier. Zapier is a automation tool that connects apps together. And so in this specific scenario, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have Zapier connect Facebook lead forms to our email service. So Zapier will pull out the lead information from Facebook and send us an email notification alerting us that we received a new lead. And that email notification is also gonna contain the information from that lead. Now, two things I just wanna make you aware of real quick before we get into today's tutorial. Uh, first, I will be using Gmail as the email service in this tutorial. Now, if you use a different email service, you can certainly go to Zapier and see if they include your email service. And it's likely that they do because they are they, there's thousands of apps that you can connect in Zapier. But for today's tutorial, I'm gonna be using Gmail because that is the service that I use. Now, the other thing that I wanna cover is in order to use Zapier for this automation, you will need to use a paid plan with Zapier. Now Zapier offers several different paid plans, including a free version, 
But in order to incorporate Facebook lead forms into your automations using Zapier, you'll need to at least use a basic version of Zapier. So those are the two things that I want to make you aware of real quick before we get into today's tutorial. So now let's go to zapier.com and let's connect our Facebook lead forms to our email service so we can get an email notification with the lead information every time somebody completes a lead form with our Facebook lead generation campaigns. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is go to zapier.com and log in or create an account. Now, if you're currently using a free version of Zapier, you'll, you will need to upgrade to a paid version to be able to use Facebook lead ads in your Zap automations. Once in your Zapier account, you will want to connect your Gmail and your Facebook accounts. Go to this menu on the left sidebar and click on my apps. Then you'll see this search bar at the top. Go to the arrow on the right hand side and click on that and locate Gmail. If you don't see Gmail in the drop down menu, you can go up to the search bar and simply type in Gmail and then once it appears, you can select it. And then you'll want to go through the same steps to connect your Facebook lead ads. So you'll just select Facebook lead ads from the drop down and if you don't see Facebook lead ads, you can go up here and type it in and once it appears, you can select it. Now from your Zapier dashboard, you're just going to want to go to this left hand menu bar again and click on make a zap. And then you're going to want to enter in Facebook lead ads. Now you can choose it from the options below, but if you don't see it again, you can type Facebook lead ads in the search bar up here and it should appear and just select it. And then under choose app, you're going to want to make sure that Facebook lead ads is selected and then under choose trigger event, make sure new lead is selected and then you can click on continue. Now you're going to want to select the Facebook lead account that you're going to be running your Facebook advertisement through that you want to automate with the zap. So just select your Facebook account and click on continue. Now you're going to want to make sure that you use the Facebook business page that you're using for this Facebook advertisement. So just select your Facebook business page and then select the lead form that you're using within this Facebook advertisement. And once you've completed that, you can click on continue. And now you're going to want to test the trigger. Uh, by clicking test the trigger, Zap is going to pull in data from your Facebook lead form to make sure that the trigger is working and it's able to access the data. Now, if you have a lead form, but you don't have any leads in, from that lead form yet, you can just simply skip this step and go on to the next step. So once you've tested the trigger and you have found that it's pulling in the information and the data, you can click on continue. And now Zapier is going to prompt you to select a second app to include in this automation. So here is where you're going to select Gmail. If you don't see it from the options, you can type it in the search bar. And once it appears, you can select the app. And then you're going to need to select an event um, for this action. So you're going to want to select send email because what we're going to do is once this uh, a Facebook lead comes in that's going to trigger this automation and we want to send the lead information to trigger a, a Gmail email send to our Gmail accounts. So now we can select continue and now you're going to want to select your Gmail account and click continue. And now here's where you're going to customize the email. Now, how you customize this is going to be definitely dependent on your needs and wants for this uh, automation. But typically what you'd want to do is uh, send the email to the specific person that you want to receive the lead information for. So if that is your email or if, you, if you're the one that wants to receive this information, enter in your email address. If you want to include team members in this email so they receive an email once the lead comes in, you can certainly enter their uh, email addresses in here. You can put those in CC or BCC and they'll be blind copied in this email. So however you want to customize this to uh, have the person receive this lead information, you would just enter it under two and the CC as well as the BCC. Now for the 
from, you're gonna to wanna to customize this by sending it from your email address and the from name. You can enter this however you want to. So you could have it come from Facebook if you want. And this is just going to show up in your uh, inbox as it's coming from Facebook. Now you could certainly just put your own name in there as well. Again, customize this to however uh, makes sense for your automation. And then the reply to, this isn't necessary, but you can certainly um, customize this as well. I think it would make sense that you would want to probably just put in your own email if you're setting up the uh, automation. And now the subject. The subject is a little bit important. I like to customize the subject line so it stands out. Uh, I would put in new Facebook lead received and take action. I just like to customize the subject line so I know it's an important email that I want to pay attention to. So customize it to however it's going to stand out in your inbox and you're going to be able to identify that it's a Facebook lead and that you should take action and follow up on that right away. Now the uh, body type. Most people are gonna to wanna to leave this option left to plain. You can certainly select HTML if you're familiar with HTML code, but most people are gonna to wanna to leave this uh, option uh, selected at plain. Now the body of the email is really important because this is where you're going to enter in the information that you receive from the lead form. So the way that I typically do this is I just include all the information that I want to pull out of this lead form. So that would be, I want to know the name of the lead. I want to know their email address. And I want to know their phone number. Now maybe you want to include more information than this in your email. It's gonna be certainly up to you and what type of information you're collecting out of your lead form. But just for simplicity's sake and for the sake of example, I'm just gonna limit it to name, email address, and phone number. So now, once I have identified what I wanna pull out of the lead form, what I'm gonna to want to do is go to the space after name, and then I'm gonna to wanna to select the uh, identifiers down here from my lead form. So for name, I'm gonna to wanna to enter, click on first name, and then I'm going to enter a space, and then select last name. So now whenever a lead comes in, this is gonna read name and then their first name and last name afterwards. And then you'll do the same thing for email address. So you'll just go to email address, make a space and select email from the list down here. Now, as you can see, phone number isn't showing up. So I'll just go down to show all options and I will select phone number from the dropdown list. So again, However you wanna customize this based on the data you're pulling out of your lead form, you would just want to include that. Use a name to identify the data and then select the data from the list down here to go right after that identifier. So once you have completed that, that is the majority of setting up your automation. Now you can certainly enter in a signature for your email if you want to. You have the ability to just use a signature that is already uh, from your Gmail account, or you can customize it if you want. Uh, you can also uh, add a label to this email. So if you set up a folder within your Gmail account that is labeled leads, you could select that label from here. And then every time that you receive an email about a new lead, not only is it gonna to go to your inbox, it's also gonna go into that folder labeled leads. So that way you can house them all in one folder and you can easily access um, the archive history of emails with leads in them. And attachments are probably gonna be pretty irrelevant for this automation. So once you have done that, you can click on continue. And now you're gonna to wanna to test and review the automation. You wanna make sure that Zapier is pulling in the information from your Facebook lead form and then it is um, triggering an email once that lead form comes in and it is sending it to your Gmail account. So to test and review, just click on test and review. And now if I go to my Gmail account, I can see I have received a new email 
and it says new Facebook lead received, take action. And if I open that up, so then I can see that I have received a test email from Zapier that is including all the information that I asked Zapier to send my Gmail account. Now this is a test uh, Zap, so this is all test information, but it would have the name of the actual person after the name and the email address for the person after the email address and telephone number after the telephone number. And this is how it would show up in your Gmail account. So once we have finished um, testing and reviewing and we're, we've confirmed that the zap is working just as we want it to work, we can click on done editing. And then it says your zap is ready to go. Just click on turn zap on and your automation will be set up. And every time that you receive a new Facebook lead on Facebook, it will send an email to your Gmail account with all the lead form information that you asked to send to your Gmail. So as you can see, setting up the automation process between Facebook lead forms and your email service is relatively easy. And this is by far my favorite Zapier automation to use. Now I stand nothing to gain financially by you using a paid version of Zapier. And Zapier did not pay me or incentivize me to produce this video. Zapier is simply my favorite automation tool. And this specific Zap or automation is my favorite because I use it every single day and it saves me a ton of time. And ultimately it provides the best experience for people who are completing the lead form on my Facebook lead generation campaigns. And I wanted to share it with you guys because if you guys are going through the manual process of going into Facebook ads manager to check to see if you even received a lead. And if you did going through the process of extracting that lead information, you know how much of a time suck that can be. And ultimately it's likely not providing the best experience for the people who are going through the process of completing your lead form. So I really hope that you guys found this tutorial helpful. If you did, make sure that you give it a like and make sure that you subscribe to the Homes for Heroes YouTube channel and make sure you hit that notification bell. That way you'll get notified every time we produce a new episode of Digital Dive with Homes for Heroes or any of the other great content coming out of the Homes for Heroes YouTube channel. And make sure that you leave your recommendations and suggestions for topics you would like me to cover on Digital Dive with Homes for Heroes. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you guys real soon.